Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CCTV. This is a news alert, a prayer alert. We're in the uh, CSEM EMSC site, earthquake site. I'll leave the address on the description. Um, we're going to look off the coast of Africa, across from Spain. Now, this brother, um, I'm telling you, I don't even know the channel. I can't even find it. But anyways, I downloaded this. I'm showing you right now. I downloaded this video to mirror this emergency alert. Um, I decided since it disappeared, I'll do my own because he gave me the address. So I'm going to take you to the uh, earthquake map, the CSME, uh, whatever. And um, I'm going to report on this and show you what's going on. Um, I do not know exactly how to explain it like he did. If you find the video out there, it had like 250,000 hits in like three days. Um, but here we are. <clears throat> we're at the earthquake map. We're going to zoom in to the um, De La Palma volcano activity. Okay, so hang on. Let me get to it. So we're off the coast of uh, Algeria, or off the coast of Africa, close to Algeria, Morocco, and as I zoom in here guys, it takes a second to zoom in, you can go to the address uh, below and watch this. I went worldwide looking for the same phenomena I'm going to show you. Now um, this ain't made up, this ain't conspiracy I'm trying to do, this is a prayer alert. I don't understand this, but I did see a, a, a video a while back of China having like a series of earthquakes I don't know it must have been 12 or 15 of them and they were all 2.1 uh, meters under the ground so what I'm going to show you today is and he did, I, I, don't, I don't think he reported much on this but um, not only are they in lines okay these are exactly where they're at the seismograph picks it up and the thing is Earthquakes are not in lines. They're random. Like, see the ones in the black over there in the water? They're random. And so the random ones, you'll notice, will be a higher... Though, you know, most of these are between 9 and 13 or 9 and 11. But there's some that are random that are like 32 meters. Some are, some are larger. But most of these are in between, you know, that 9 to 15... The real dark ones are all about the same. See, it depends on how far away from the uh, volcano it is. So now, I'm not going to just assume this is an evil plot to destroy mankind. I'm going to assume that they're trying to control this volcano. Let's just assume that. This is a good thing then. But what if their actions, man-made actions of this, can cause that volcano to go off and massive earthquake to happen? And it's been about, I think, 150 years since something like that has happened here. Um, now, I don't know if this is a super volcano. I'm not the volcano expert or the earthquake expert, but I just want you guys to know you need to pray for Spain, pray for Morocco, pray for this whole Africa area, because if this thing goes off, it's going to destroy a lot of stuff. A lot of people are going to die. This whole island might just blow up. I don't know if it works that way. But notice the formation. Um, I'll show you a little bit people people were saying like well in the comments they were saying like well that could be a uh, harp and I've, I've looked at harp and I've looked at all the parts of harp and I think it can create earthquakes I'll show you a little thing I picked up at the end of this video but I'm going to take you over over to the volcano in a minute here and so notice uh, the volcanoes I'm showing you right now that are on the outlaying they, these are more like Look how deep they are. 32. Just take this in for a second. The ones that a man made, I believe, or there's some kind of warfare going on. Now, he was mentioning that this could create a massive tsunami wave that would hit the east coast, the eastern border, sea border, whatever you call it, the east coast from Florida. It would hit the whole thing with 100 and 50, 125, 150 meter, I mean 150 foot weight. Now that's approximately six stories I think. So if you're in New York City, you better get up to the eighth floor, or ninth floor just to make it maybe go higher because of the waves. And I don't know if the building's gonna fall. So 
That's what I'm saying. That's the worst case scenario. But let's hope for the best. We pray and God changes things. Now look at these. You can see them. They're really deep and then all of a sudden there's small ones. A whole series of small 9 meter, 12 meter, 11 meter, 10 meter. They're all about the same. And these are all the men. 9 meter, 10 meter. So that see, so what I'm saying, and it's not a conspiracy, and it, nobody's reporting on this except for the one brother, and that video's gone, is that could this just be a attempt to stop the volcano? But worst case scenario, it's um, harp, earthquake weapon, weather weapon. You know, you hear a lot of stuff out there. It doesn't matter what kind of weapon it is. We got God, Psalm 91. So let me share this volcano here in real time. So what you think. What to do when you're experiencing fear? <clears throat> For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Romans 8.15 there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. 1 John 4.18 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Remember Psalm 91. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that lays at waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Now, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with this prayer alert for um, the West Coast of Mexico, South America, Guatemala. Um, all these areas I show you videos in. There's a lot of earthquake activity. Um, none of this looks suspicious to me. They're all like you know. You got 45, 69 kilometers depth. 45. 61 I mean huge huge deep ones right so random 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 and uh, which makes it good because it's they're not no hanky panky going on right anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video share it with 10 of your best friends that do pray some people say I'll pray for you they never do when you say pray for me I'll pray right there on the spot I'll call you and pray for you but that's what friends do you know so share this video, um, help me increase my numbers, I'm going to do more reports like this, um, I got an asteroid report coming, and I'm going to get more professional at it, but you know, I'm going to still be Chris, so subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the thumbs up, and let me know how I did on this mom, pa news report, talk to you later, CCTV signing out.
Bye. Come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Psalm 91, 10 and 11. Do not be afraid of the sudden terror, nor the trouble from the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence. He will keep your feet from being caught. Proverbs 3, 25, 26. In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, in whom terror, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. In God I have put my trust, and I will not be afraid. What can a man do to me? Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Psalm 23, 4 and 5. For whom he foreknew, he foreprestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So what then shall we say of these things? If God is with the, is for us, who can be against us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sore? As it is written, for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8:29, 31, 35, and 39. Be of good courage, for he shall strengthen your heart, all you hope in the Lord. Psalm 31:24. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives you do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14, 27 The Lord is my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? Though an enemy may camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise up against me, in this I will be confident. Psalm 27, 1-3 so we boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? <laughs> Hebrews 13, 6. Divine intervention We need Divine intervention What was in your heart as you created this world? What were you thinking 
when you said let there be
Father, in the name of the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you bring in the prodigals. We ask that you bring in the souls that need to be saved, Father. You wish that none perish, none die from any of these disasters. So in Jesus' name, as I show this horrible stuff, but beautiful, I ask you to save, begin to save, bring revival to America in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Amen. Bye later, guys.